the enigmatic Sigma INFJ, known for its intricate and complex personality, can sometimes appear cold toward others. While their true nature is characterized by depth, empathy, and warmth, certain aspects of their personality can create an impression of detachment. Here are 10 ways how cold a Sigma INFJ can be towards others. Number 10. Through their heightened sensitivity. Beneath the enigmatic surface of the Sigma INFJ lies a heightened sensitivity that colors their interactions with others. Like a finely tuned instrument, this heightened sensitivity allows them to perceive emotions and energies with remarkable clarity. However, this very sensitivity can unintentionally create an impression of coldness. The Sigma INFJ's heightened sensitivity acts as a double-edged sword. While it grants them a deep understanding of the emotional currents surrounding them, it also exposes them to a barrage of stimuli that can be overwhelming. When faced with an influx of intense emotions or negative energies, they instinctively retreat into themselves, seeking solace in their inner world. Though a coping mechanism with withdrawal can be misconstrued as aloofness or indifference by those unaware of their delicate balance, their acute sensitivity can also lead to emotional exhaustion, prompting them to create emotional boundaries for self-preservation. They require time and space to recharge and process their emotions, giving off the impression of detachment or coldness. Number 9. They are highly secretive and private. The Sigma INFJ values their privacy immensely. They cherish their inner world, a sanctuary where they can freely explore their thoughts and emotions without external scrutiny. This penchant of secrecy, while serving as a source of strength and self-preservation, inadvertently creates a sense of distance and aloofness in their interactions. Their reluctance to openly share personal details or disclose their innermost thoughts can be misunderstood as detachment or disinterest. However, beneath their guarded exterior lies a treasure trove of rich emotions and profound insights. The Sigma INFJ's secretive nature is not a reflection of apathy but rather a desire to protect the fragile vulnerabilities that reside within. As a Sigma INFJ, do you become too private to safeguard your emotional well-being? Number 8. Through their intense emotional boundaries. The Sigma INFJ constructs an emotional armor, meticulously guarding their most profound sentiments. They are cautious about revealing their true selves, preferring to keep their emotions hidden beneath layers of introspection and introspection. This self-imposed detachment can manifest as a distant and reserved demeanor, leading others to perceive them as unapproachable or indifferent. For Sigma INFJ, opening up is an arduous journey. They weigh the risks and rewards considering the potential repercussions of exposing their vulnerabilities. Although rooted in self-care, this deliberation can unwittingly project an image of coldness as they struggle to bridge the gap between their inner emotional world and the external realm of interpersonal connections. Their intense emotional boundaries act as a double-edged sword. While they shield themselves from potential emotional harm, they also create an invisible barrier that keeps others at bay. This emotional self-preservation can mistaken for aloofness or a lack of empathy when the Sigma INFJ is simply navigating to delicate balance between self-protection and genuine connection. Number 7. Through their limited small talk. While small talk serves as a social lubricant for many, the Sigma INFJ craves substance and authenticity in their interactions. They thrive on exploring profound ideas and delving into the depths 
of human experiences. Consequently, engaging in surface-level conversations can feel draining and inconsequential to them. Their preference for depth over shallowness can be misconstrued as coldness. Others may interpret their lack of engagement in small talk as a lack of interest or a desire to keep their distance. However, this limited small talk does not indicate a lack of warmth or empathy, but rather a longing for connections beyond surface-level pleasantries. To truly understand and connect with the Sigma INFJ, engaging in conversations that stimulate their intellect and touch upon their passions is crucial. By embracing meaningful discussions and allowing them to explore their ideas and perspectives, their hidden warmth and genuine interest in others can shine through, dispelling the initial perception of coldness. As a Sigma INFJ, are you unapologetically avoiding small talk? Number 6. Through their analytical approach Embedded within the intricate framework of Sigma INFJ's personality lies their analytical approach, which can inadvertently create a perception of coldness towards others. These individuals are naturally inclined to deeply analyze situations and people, seeking a profound understanding of the underlying dynamics. However, this intense scrutiny can be misunderstood as detachment or aloofness. The Sigma INFJ's analytical nature stems from their desire for clarity and meaning. They meticulously observe and process information, carefully weighing the complexities of human interactions. This analytical lens can create a sense of distance as they navigate the intricacies of social dynamics and intentionally giving the impression of being emotionally detached. Their tendency to seek logical explanations and dissect emotions may clash with the spontaneous and intuitive nature of interpersonal connections. While they intend to gain a deeper understanding, their analytical approach can inadvertently overshadow the immediate emotional responses that others may expect. Number 5. Through their tendency to be highly socially selective. The Sigma INFJ selective approach is rooted in their desire for meaningful connections. They value their interactions, depth, authenticity, and mutual understanding, seeking relationships that nourish their souls. As a result, they may appear distant or exclusive to those who do not meet their criteria for a genuine connection. Their limited social circle can be misconstrued as coldness or aloofness as they invest their energy in cultivating meaningful bonds rather than spreading themselves thin across superficial relationships. Their preference for solitude and introspection further contributes to their selective nature as they prioritize personal growth and self-reflection. As a Sigma INFJ, are you aware of how intimidating your interaction preference is to others? Number 4. By their independent nature. The Sigma INFJ's independence stems from a deep need for personal space and the freedom to explore their own thoughts and emotions. They are comfortable spending time alone, finding solace in introspection and self-discovery. This self-sufficiency can be misconstrued as detachment or aloofness, as they may not rely heavily on others for emotional support or validation. Their preference for independence can inadvertently create a barrier to forming connections. While they value relationships, they also prioritize their individual growth and pursue their own passions and interests. Others may interpret their self-direct focus as coldness, unaware of Sigma INFJ's genuine capacity for warmth and empathy. It is important to recognize that Sigma INFJ's independent nature does not negate its capacity for meaningful connections. By fostering an environment that respects their need for personal space and individuality, 
and by actively engaging in authentic and open communication, others can witness the depth of their warmth and the profound care they possess, bridging the gap between their independent nature and the perception of coldness. Number three, they have difficulty expressing their emotions. Nestled within the complex realm of Sigma INFJ's personality lies a difficulty in expressing emotions, which can unintentionally create an impression of coldness towards others. These individuals possess rich and intricate inner worlds, brimming with emotions that may remain largely concealed from the external gaze. The Sigma INFJ struggle to articulate their emotions stems from a multitude of factors. They possess a deep sensitivity and complexity, making it challenging to put their feelings into words. Their introspective nature often leads them to process emotions internally, seeking understanding and clarity before sharing their experiences with others. This difficulty in emotional expression can be misconstrued as detachment or aloofness. Those unaware of Sigma INFJ's internal struggles may perceive their reserved nature as lacking emotional depth or disinterest in connecting on an emotional level. As a Sigma INFJ, are your loved ones aware of your difficulty in expressing your emotions? Number two, their need for personal space. The Sigma INFJ's need for personal space arises from a deep desire to maintain their emotional well-being and inner balance. They find solace in moments of solitude where they can process their thoughts and emotions without external distractions. This need for personal space can be misinterpreted as detachment or disinterest in others as they may withdraw from social interactions to honor their own boundaries. While they cherish their relationships and connections, Sigma INFJ's self-care and introspective nature necessitate moments of seclusion. Others may mistakenly perceive this need for personal space as a lack of warmth or a desire to keep others at arm's length. To truly understand the Sigma INFJ, respecting and honoring their need for personal space is crucial. Creating an environment that acknowledges and supports their self-care, routines can foster understanding and bridge the gap between their solitude-seeking tendencies and the perception of coldness. By demonstrating patience, empathy, and a genuine appreciation for their need for personal space, others can unveil the genuine warmth and deep connections that lie beyond their occasional withdrawal. Number 1. Their intellectual focus intimidates others. The Sigma INFJ's passionate pursuit of knowledge and their ability to engage in profound discussions can inadvertently create a sense of distance or detachment. Others may perceive their intellectual focus as a lack of interest or an intellectual superiority that makes them unapproachable. In reality, Sigma INFJ's intellectual pursuits stems from their genuine curiosity and thirst for understanding. They seek to unravel the complexities of the world and engage in stimulating conversations that delve into meaningful ideas. Their intellectual focus is not a reflection of coldness, but rather an expression of their profound desire for intellectual growth and exploration. In order to fill the gap between the perception and coldness of Sigma INFJ's intellectual focus, it is crucial for others to approach them with open-mindedness and a willingness to engage in intellectually stimulating discussions. As a Sigma INFJ, does your inner circle admire rather than feel intimidated by your intellect? Understanding Sigma INFJ's tendency to exhibit coldness towards people requires a nuanced perspective. While they may come across as distant or aloof, it's crucial to recognize the underlying factors that shape their behavior. As a Sigma INFJ, do you have people in your life who appreciate your reserved nature? Are you aware of how cold you appear towards others? <laughs>